Carl. Wilbur, come back! Please! If you don't, you'll get caught like always. Shift the blame to me. We'll fight and not talk for a week. Then get tired of not talking. You'll come up with another crazy plan, and I'll get blamed again! Relax, Carl. Operation Tut is complete. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, Carl. I fell to a lower level. I just need to find my way out.
responsible. You're skipping carefree down the road to inevitable doom. Carl, I barely touched anything. I'm sure that whatever minor alteration may have occurred will go completely unnoticed. Unnoticed? Gee, you think they'll notice this? Chariot of the gods? I know this looks bad, but let's examine the evidence. That could be any kid riding a time machine. See? My hair is completely different. Yeah, Wilbur. But... There you are, Wilbur. I'm leaving on a business trip for a few days. Don't touch the time machine. Alter existence as we know it, okay? Absolutely. Wait a minute. Great, Dad. Goodbye, Wilbur. See you in a few days. What did he say about the time machine? He said, give him a free a gobnop, we're gonna have him to it. Which means, have fun with the time machine. Just a little code talk that my dad and I have. Yeah, we're tight. See? I just need one more person to finish my collection. Someone who's suave, debonair, and has rock star good looks. To the time machine! Oh, there you are. Have you taken out the garbage yet? No, but I'm dying to do it. Honest. Because I, I think someone just changed the garage code. What? But I needed to get in there. This is oh, terrible. I know you're disappointed. Taking out the garbage is quite a thrill ride. Now, why don't you go ask your cousin Laszlo if he knows anything about the code? Where is he? Sounds like he's in the lab. Hey buddy, if you ever get in the jam or need a little help, don't forget to call me. You know I've always got great advice for you. Wilbur, how bad I paint you orange? Hey, I love orange, but maybe later. Listen, someone changed the garage code and I need to get in there. Well, I didn't change it, but I know how you can find out who did. All you need is a private detective, two giraffes with telescopes, three- That seems complicated. Ow. Well, maybe you could just build a scanner and use it to scan the keypad for DNA. Use the disassembler in the storage room to get the parts you need. Then, you can build the scanner with our handy Robinson transmogrifier. Ha! Huh, back already, huh? Could it be you've come to your senses and decided not to take the time machine? I'll wait here. I need to run some calculations. You should be able to find all the components you need in here.
Just head over to the transmogrifier, Wilbur. <laughs> Now that you have a scanner, you should know I'm always on the lookout for chromatically interesting scans. How come? Oh, I use the scans for reference in my paintings. All the scans you make will be automatically uploaded to my database. And cousin, I'll gladly reward you for any scans you find. Great! Well, I've got to go scan the garage door and find out who changed the code. See you later, Wilbur. the garage code? The scanner says Grandpa Bud changed the garage code. I think I saw him in the dining room. Silver, my 
dilemmas progress to a bona fide emergency. There. Is this where we sign up for the treasure hunt? Uh, no. I need the coat to the garage. You were the last one There's to- There's no time for that now. You gotta help me find my teeth. Pearly whites, they've gone missing. I bet it's mom singing frogs again. Listen, if I promise to find your teeth for you, will you tell me the new garage, garage code? Garage, who's he, what's he? Yeah, my brain's all a fluster. Find my teeth, and then we'll talk about that doohickey. Meanwhile, I'll search the peanut butter. Right, I'll go check the music room. Oh, you know, buddy, gum and steak in need. Any sign of my teeth? Wilbur, it's me, Laszlo. If you're going to the music room, see if you can scan all the frogs. I'll upload a reward to your family album when you've scanned them all. Oh, well, I only found a paper airplane, a dust bunny, and a potato chip that looks like Jamaica. Jamaica? Cool. Now, did you change the garage code? Yep. So, what is it? I don't know. Someone else changed it right after I did. Don't recall who, though. Why don't you ask Uncle Art? He's out back by his spaceship. <laughs>
Greetings, pizza eater. Wilbur, you're just the boy I wanted to see. I need help. Me too. I have to find out who changed the code to the garage. No time for that now. We're in the midst of a crisis of interstellar proportions. I made a pizza delivery to Nebulon 5 and picked up a herd of zomzats. Cute little critters. I had a bunch of them on my ship, but now they've escaped. Wilbur Robinson is on the job. Uh... Any hint on how to capture them? Yes. A high-energy discharge will stun them long enough to catch them. You know, like from that charge ball game you're always playing? Great. I'll just go get my charge ball glove from my room. That a boy, nephew. Go get him. Please hurry, Wilbur. I've got planets waiting for pizzas. <laughs>
Did you find out who changed the garage code? Wilbur, over here! Nice delivery! You tracked down every last one of them! Grandpa Bud said you might know who changed the code to the garage? Sorry, but I'm afraid I've been out making deliveries. Why don't you go ask your Aunt Billy? She should be in the train room. Hey, Aunt Billy! Did you change the code to the garage door? Oh, Wilbur, you've got to help me. I'm caught in the middle of a scheduling disaster. What's the problem? My toy train is out of juice, and the switch to the recharge station is jammed again. Could you help me, Wilbur? I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. Wilbur. Now I can get things back on track! Ah, that's a good one. Listen, do you know who changed the garage code? Why don't you ask your Uncle Gaston? He's in the cannon range. Thank you. 
I need to get into the cannon range. Can you help me? Wow. You'd need an extendo key to get in there. Extendo key to get... Wait, I know! You could build one using your disassembler. Here's the blueprint. Uh, Laszlo? This blueprint calls for a skeleton alloy? Yeah, that's what we call a rare component. Sometimes you need rare components to build inventions. But where am I supposed to get the alloy? Well, I was just putting some paint away in the storage room and I saw a new chest in there. Maybe it's got some skeleton alloy in it.
Go on over and try out the transmogrifier. Boy, it's user-friendly. Huh, back already, huh? Couldn't you have come to your senses and decided not to take the back? It appears fate has brought us together again. Enough talk. I know you are the one who changed the garage code. Right you are, nephew. But if you ever want to see the garage again, you'll have to face my cannon challenge. Your talk does not frighten me, uncle. Very well. It's time for a light brunch. Nicely done! I underestimated your finger food dodging skills. Truly, you are one with the meatball. Thanks. I think. So, what's the garage code? Fine. It's banana. But don't think it'll be so easy next time. I'm upgrading to garlic cheese balls.
Wilbur! Ah! <laughs> I think you forgot to take out the trash, sweetie. Trash! Right. Thanks. Camera! Oh no! Carl! Somebody's stealing the time machine! Let me guess. Maybe a reckless teenager who never listens to his wise robot friend? Not me, Carl. Some guy in a... a bowler hat! Ah, <laughs> oh, great. We're gonna find some way to blame me for this. You left the garage door open, didn't you? Next question. We have to tell your dad! Carl! What's the first rule in a situation like this? Uh, close the garage door. Ooh, low blow. No, it's don't panic. Now, we need to get the time machine back from that bowler hat guy. Well, you're dead, and I'm deactivated. Nice knowing ya! I can follow him in the prototype time machine, but we'll need to infiltrate the time laboratory security vault. You're gonna break into your dad's time lab? Yes. Now, what's the fastest way to sub-level three? Let's see... Sub-level 3... Okay, you'll need to take the 415 Express, run the giant hamster ball to the third hall, jump through the spinning fan of death, turn right... No, wait! I mean left. Are you sure you don't want to tell your dad? I'm sure! Right. After that, you just have to make it past the robot guardian, but he's nothing to worry about. Sweet. High five. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh. Wait a minute. 